people with big busts don't have their waist starting before their boobs even start. This is ridiculous. Hello, movies! Today we are unboxing this giant box from Taobao. It's even bigger than the last box I bought from Taobao. I can't even remember. There's tons of dresses and also a few bags. That might be why it's so big. But it's huge. Let's open it. I will put it down and bring the stuff on the table. I guess it's easier. So like before, I want to be showing you B-rolls of every single dress that I have because those dresses are, most of them will not be for me and will be sold at my booth or at Eggy Bubble Tea. And this is just me buying stuff from Taobao to resell. And so I will probably keep maybe one or two, we'll see. And uh, maybe for those I will do detail shots. I don't know, but if you have any questions about anything, uh, feel free to ask it and I, I will answer them. So, and if you want more of a specific dress, then I can show you more in a later video. So let's do that. The box is here and we'll just pick stuff as they come. I see so many cool things already. Okay, let's start with this. This is a necklace that I bought for the white pack. That is a little bit the same as the black one that I had for uh, the starter pack. But right now I'm seeing this look very classic or gothic. I'm not that sweet, but I was having trouble finding sweet stuff uh, on Taobao, like sweet accessories that are very affordable. The goal of the starter pack, I will link up there so you know what I'm talking about, is to have very affordable basic pieces that someone can have for their coordinates. And so I'm not sure if this one will work for the sweet one. Ooh, this goes with another dress. So I'll show you when I have to set. This must be a petticoat. And yes, my shopping service is superbuy.com. And I've used it twice now and I'm quite happy. So if you want a shopping service to buy directly from Taobao, considering going from Superbuy and I have a link in the description and if you do order with it I get a small commission so you're helping my channel by getting amazing stuff from uh, Taobao. Ew. So okay because it says Superbuy I'm not sure where it is. You know what I did not do? I did not print the order list like I did last time and so this must be from Aurora and Ariel. Yes, it is, because I have the tag here. That will help. Aurora and Ariel. And this is the violent petticoat. <laughs> like the, the thickest one, like fluffiest one. And you can see there's so much fabric. This is crazy. And this one is the short one. I could not say. It's... It's so wide that you would think it's so short, but I think it's the regular 45 centimeter length. Yeah, I think it will work. So, um, I'm not sure about how uh, wide it would be. I think it's a little bit tight for me, but I just heard that they are doing also custom sizes. So, I'm really, really expecting this to be really amazing and they're very affordable. So, I'm planning, like I've been saying for months, a video to showcase all the different petticoats and show them to you in detail and that's why now you have been seeing me unbox maybe like 10 different petticoats and so now I really want to show them to you all. So this one will be one of them and I will go in more detail when I try it for this video. This is wrist cuffs. I guess this is for the starter pack also. Wrist cuffs in pink or is it i like that it says the your merchandise has been carefully inspected by may bay but if it's a risk off why do i have only one mm, and it's not the neck and also if it's a risk off i think it's way way too straight and not fluffy enough Let's see, I will at the end maybe look at the things that I have questions about and go back to you on that. Next. 
This must be a bag. Let's check it. Red Maria, Rita. Yes, Red Maria does a lot of bags. And I think, ooh, ooh, ooh. This is a Lolita Eater bag. Not Eater in the sense of Eater Lolita, but Eater bag for Lolita. So Eater bag basically is the same concept as Eater. You put so much stuff in it that it's painful to watch. This is what it means. But, oh my God, I love it so much. Okay, so the fabric itself, I mean the material seems very durable. It's a little bit shiny, but I would say shimmery, it's not glitter and the quality seems amazing and it doesn't feel like it would peel like some of the things from AP for example and so it has an opening here where they actually stuck the lanyards but oh there's two of them okay yeah there's two bottoms for the straps okay and so here you have the opening where you can put stuff and it's all fluffy and it's a little bit uh, thick so you can put plushies or anything um, I've seen that uh, it's gorgeous maybe I would not put pins like um, let's see let's see if I could paper so it's very well packaged um, no here it's really super thick I would not put pins through maybe you could but um, I don't know I would mostly put like um, plushies or anything cute that can stand in that and uh, maybe yeah pins is not the best idea I don't know so you can hold it like this or you can have the straps and there are two straps because there's two holes here so it's a little bit weird but why not and yeah it's very gorgeous so okay I think it's definitely definitely a very good bag so I think I have other bags from this brand and we'll see so now I'm really tempted to get one like that for me but also it's it's really gorgeous to wear with your coordinate but also so small I wouldn't be able to put a lot of things because the bag itself seem thick but half of it is just for the deco that you put in the eater part so this here i will never be able to put even my wallet is too thick or uh, to put my tripod like gimbal for filming so uh, i'm not really sure about that we'll see another one i think it's actually the same one in pink yeah exact same one a little pearly duster pink very gorgeous very very gorgeous it's really shiny it's so like almost iridescent it's absolutely gorgeous um this one i'm really tempted to get <laughs> yeah, i love it it's so 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 cute okay so i don't know maybe I will keep some for me, maybe I will sell some at a giveable tea, but this is not something that I put on the Fluffy Tower website. So if you want to get that, either you can uh, go yourself at uh, Red Maria on Taobao or you can um, go to the Equibable tea store where I sell my stuff. Ooh, 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 it's really cool stuff. So this is for a dress, this is for a dress, this is for a dress, the dress is not here. This is also maybe for dress let's see what looks for dress here this is maybe something that i bought for me because i do have that dress and i wanted to have it i made this order so long ago i forgot um so yeah it's actually a hair clip for a dress that i own and this one i bought from Aliexpress, but it's also a Taobao brand. I uh, don't remember exactly the dress, but it's the one with the cages and everything. So it's very cute. More bags. This one doesn't say where it comes from, so I'm not sure if it's Red Maria. Okay, so this kind of material, I'm not that sure it's very durable. Also, it was a bit squashed like that. So yeah, not perfectly packaged, I would say. But maybe it will come back to the original shape. But you can see here, it's a little bit sad because it's not, yeah, I don't know. 
but okay I think this part looks good but this one I can see it peeling and getting damaged easily but the design is very very pretty I think it's very cute and it's a little bit dark red so it could work with red and with maroon so I think it's nice and you have okay so this is a strap and a lot of paper inside a lot of paper okay so this one seems quite big inside okay quite big I mean you won't get more than this <laughs> size but at least you can fill it um there's one zipper here one pocket here and also one extra pocket here okay the the actually making of this bag is really good just the material i'm not sure i'm not saying it will damage but i'm not sure the other one i'm pretty sure it will not so another very cute bag this i'm quite excited it's also from aurora in area it's huge okay it's fluffy bloomers for winter and i think they're so big it would even like help the proof of your petticoat but they almost look like pajama bottoms Definitely that I took for me and I hope I fit in that because the winters here can be chilly and really the fact that you could have wintry bloomers I think it's so so cool and I want to try that so I will probably die at the moment it's so hot in here but yeah I'm I'm really looking forward to that it doesn't say anything like the, like the other one it seems quite stretchy, so I think I will definitely fit in that. Will it be too uh, tight to be comfortable? We'll see, but this is really fun. Really, really nice. And it has cute pattern of hurts and white strawberries, and it's so, so soft. So I think it's really, really cool. And see how much fabric th there are. So you can really put your, like my big butt in there. Will definitely fit, definitely. So, I like that, I'm very excited. Oh my god, this is so comfy! And it has two pockets, can you believe it? It's really huge and actually there's a lot of fabric in there so that makes it weird to walk. And also here it's a little bit short, I would have loved it a little bit higher. You can see the mark where my petticoat is usually, so it would be more comfortable a bit higher. But it's still so 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 comfy, I think. I would totally wear that at home. That's weird though, because it's short and so fluffy, so no, maybe not for home. Maybe definitely under a petticoat to be warm in a super weird, super cold, wintry day meetup outside. So definitely, definitely the, the fluffiest, uh, warmest bloomers ever. And they're so cute. This one is very exciting too. This is. A rainbow petticoat and something fell. What is it? It's a bag from Aurora and Ariel. Yay. Okay, rainbow petticoat, rainbow petticoat. When I saw that, I was like, oh my God, this is so amazing. Again, I'm not really sure about the stretch. Again, they can do customs, so we'll see. Um, yeah, but the standard one is that. And same, they have so much fabric. So much fabric. Hmm. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I would say if you have um, darker dresses, maybe you want black petticoats. But for all the sweet dresses, usually we recommend white petticoats. But why not have a rainbow petticoat? I'm so in love with that. If this one turns out really good and it's not my size, I will probably order a custom size to have that in my size if I actually like that kind of petticoats. Because this is so, so cool. This is the first time I saw that. Um, Lou Graves showed me in my, if you want to see the vlog of our weekend uh, with a cupcake coming somewhere in Lou Graves, it's like, come Joelle, I will show you my petticoat <laughs> and it was on a mannequin and it has, I have a lavender in the mint petticoat I think I was like what this is so cool but this one 
coolest petticoat I've ever seen. But does it work? We will we'll see in the big petticoat video. I hope it's coming. If it's already done by the time I do this video or even later, I will link it up there for you. If not, you have to look for it because I really want to make like the ultimate petticoat video that the only one that you can see to watch to compare petticoats. Those are tights from Red Maria and they are mint. So probably this was for me. At that point, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I will keep these and I will sell these and uh, figure it out. Ooh, yeah, I love it. So it's uh, a little bit more classic uh, tights in mint with the lace and uh, a very nice uh, ribbon on it. And okay, the tights seem quite a nice fabric. I don't know, yeah, probably it's from China, but I've been struggling to make tights with my brands. Okay, yeah, they, ha they do have that um, line here where the, basically I think that they're just, they're all white and then press it, print it, press it like that flat. And so that's why you have that line on the side, but I have seen manufacturers who don't have lines, so I'm confused how they do that. And so the the manufacturer that we had for Fluffy Tori uh, to make tights, they're just closed down. And so now I'm looking everywhere for a new manufacturer of tights. And it's kind of difficult to find places where you can buy tights, not like 300 of the same size and same color because Obviously, this is not what we can do as an indie brand. This looks like uh, wristcuffs. Good, good. So they're just like one layer of wristcuffs. Not bad, but they do have a stain here. So not that fine. Maybe I can try to wash it. It's, it said it's been inspected, but it's for me, it looks a little bit damaged. But this will probably be for the uh, sweet uh, pink um, starter pack. And I do have the black socks because probably I forgot that I bought them somewhere else. Also for the black starter pack, but it's always good to have extra black ones. So that's fine. So those are good, I would say, because there are two, not like the ones that we had before. And I have one of those extra store clips that said, sweet for you like i had received already i think the exact same one as a gift from togo vendors i don't know if it comes from the vendor or if it comes from uh, the shopping service i don't know okay there's a big box here so is it shoes i'm confused what is it Okay, I ordered makeup, but I would not think it would come in the box and it looks like it's the box. What? But it looks almost empty. Oh my God, let's see. I think it is a makeup box. No? Flower nose, pretty rock baby, flower nose. Yeah, I think flower nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, okay, so basically I ordered that makeup brand flower nose, I think, because it was really pretty. So, okay, it looks like it was not supposed to be inside, I think, it got smashed. Probably the way they packed it here, they got smashed here, and uh, you can see it's damaged there, but that's still very pretty. I just need to figure out how to... Oh. Oh, okay, it opens like that. Okay, okay, okay. So it's just a flap like that. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. And I have only that inside of it because the way I was going to ship the big box because they had cosmetics and that would have cost me so much more because that company would not ship cosmetics, something like that. So I had to ship a separate box with all the cosmetics. So let's open that. But I'm shocked that they gave me the box. It's so gorgeous. And well, 
I don't know if it will look good in the set of my studio, but definitely somewhere, even if it's not on camera. It's gorgeous. Oh my god, and I'm so excited to try the makeup. So maybe I will do a different video where I try the makeup because I have so many, but also I'm not very good at makeup, so I might not be the best to review makeup. I've not said makeup in a sentence more than this in any video ever. Okay, let's see. So this one is packaged super well. So all packaged in some sort of, uh, it's not even bubble wrap, it's like, I don't know how to call that, foam tape, something like that. Let's see. Okay, they gave me just a tie like that here. Let's see. So well, actually to ship in two different boxes by two different uh, uh, shipping companies was cheaper. So this is something, so basically you order everything and then they store everything in their um, warehouse and then you can choose what you want to ship with what, when. And if you store everything more than one month, I think it start costing you the storage fee. But before that, before one month, they can just consolidate every order that you made until they're enough to ship. Okay, let's see. I am very excited about all this. Oh my god, it's so shiny. Okay, so basically, I have these that look like face masks or something. I have no idea what this is. So it looks like something inside and a face mask or wipes or something like that. That's very cute. They're so, so, so cute. Um, and then I have a catalog. It's a little bit squished, but this unicorn collection is gorgeous. Ooh, and so I have all the different uh, shades of all the different things in the collection. Awesome. Ooh, and I have sticker like paper notes stickers and uh, those are very cool uh, small ones that you can use like as uh, I don't know you know what I mean they're cool very amazing yay okay let's open the makeup okay so I got one uh, eyeshadow palette one blush and uh, one uh, let's see, this is a uh, lipstick. This is really the coolest makeup packages I have ever had. This is really, really nice. Oh my God, it's so nice. I think some of these I will have to do B-roll to show you. I love it. And the color seems nice. It's so cool, so cool. Okay, really, really nice. Next, uh, let's open the eyeshadow palette. It looks very professional and uh, I've heard that it's a um, legitimate makeup brand in China, like on Taobao. It's not like a knockoff or something of others and it says, that it's good until 2023. Yay. My God. You know, I'm not the person who, because I'm bad at makeup usually, I'm not collecting uh, cool palettes or anything, but these, look at how cool this package is. Oh my God. And so, wow. And you have even a little um, mirror here and then, uh, a piece of plastic to remove it and uh, I have those very neutral tone uh, shades but also very very cool glitter ones so I picked this one because this is a little bit different from what I usually have and uh, I thought that I could use the most t shades in this one so yay pretty rock baby is that the name of the uh, uh, collection, I don't know, and okay, the blush. 
is also amazing. And see how the packages are so, so iridescent. That's so, so nice. <gasps> Honestly, this is the coolest makeup I've ever seen. I have never seen even collabs or anything. Look, that's amazing. There's a unicorn and it's so shiny and it looks like it's uh, the back of, um, it's like shells inside of it. And all of them have different tones. The, the pack based on what's inside. I'm so excited. And the logo that is pressed on the shadow is, oh my God. And it's shiny and you have also a mirror. Okay, the mirror. I, oh yeah, this is also plastic. I will say it's a little bit scratched, but it's a plastic. So yeah, oh my god, I'm so excited with all of this. So if you want me to do a video where I try these, maybe uh, let me know in the comments and I will see what I can do to be not too ashamed of myself to do a makeup video because I won't be able to give you tips or anything because I'm really bad. You can see... Uh, Bridget Young on YouTube. She's a Lolita and does makeup tutorials. That is very, very nice. So go check her out for knowledge about makeup. Okay, and I bought this uh, super cute. Um, did I buy them or was it an extra gift? I don't remember. This is a uh, simple, don't remember the name. Like, you know, to apply makeup. And it's pink and it's really fun. Yeah! I'm so excited about these, actually. And there was supposed to be... Okay, so the thing that was inside... Yeah, there was supposed to be a mirror also with that, but it might come later. Ooh, the dress is the one going with the, this, maybe? This, definitely. And this. This looks like a different petticoat. And as you can see, it's good. But it's not as big. As the one from Aurora and Ariel. So this one is from Diamond Honey and it seems very very tight here. I think I can stretch it to wear it but not as big. So yeah it's a little bit more uh, simple and less puffy and less fabric than the Aurora and Ariel ones. Head bows! So the way they are packaged, really squish them. I hope that we can save the shape later. So, let's see. I think I can try to make it look better. I can always team it to make it get a different shape. So this was the one that I bought for the sweet pack. That will be basic in white to go with many colored dresses so this is yeah it looks good probably once it will be uh, steamed i think it's nice but that's a little bit weird because here it's the here it's uh, glued to the headband and here not maybe it wasn't it got unglued i don't know it's a little bit weird but i will make it look nicer and this one I think is the exact same but in mint for me. Okay, same. It looks very <laughs> sad like that, really sad. So yeah, it's not nice when you have a lot of work to make your piece look good after you bought it. <sighs> I mean, that's the way it is. It's not always easy to package it. Package something like that so it doesn't take too much space and looks good. It's kind of hard, but... It really looks like shit. <laughs> so yay. Another bag! I love that a lot. Whaleful, yeah. Whaleful are very famous for the bags and they make good bags and this one again is very glittery and I think this is material that is very durable and that will not uh, peel I think. And they do have a chain uh, strap. 
with it and inside it's it's quite big you can see well inside and there's a pocket here and a zip and an outside pocket it's very basic basically it's always almost the same and then you can just hold it can you maybe yeah but close it before you do that in case it just falls back but i think if you put stuff in it, gravity will hold it down and it should be okay. But yeah, it looks good. Also, kind of small for my needs, I guess, but it's very nice. I really like how shiny this is and you can see a little embossed uh, whale fall here in the, in the front. I don't know if you can see that. And all the bows are stuck. Yeah, all of these are stuck. But it looks very cool and sturdy, so nice. Dresses! I don't know what this is. Okay, this is another dress and it goes with all this. There's another bag and this one is quite big, but also super heavy. By the way, usually you should keep those. Um, I don't know what kind of fabric this is, but kind of mix between fabric and paper and keep that to keep your bags in uh, because then they will not rub against each other and they get discolored by the metal pieces on other bags or something so just a tip keep those parts so my god it's so big i've seen somebody having this bag because i was eyeing it to get this bag for myself and then i thought it was small but actually it's not small at all it's quite big so you have a snap here let me try and close it why is it hard to close it does it even close okay it does okay so i can hold it like that and it won't hold open so it's also from whalefall and I've seen it on several Taobao resellers and it was very expensive and it's way more affordable to buy directly from Whalefall but sometimes it's also sold out in many colors. They have many many different colors. I would say this material is also the good quality one. Yeah, I would say this will stay well, I think. Yes. Okay, so this is a three-way bag. So you have the strap here that you can strap like here and here to make it a backpack or you can probably... Um, sometimes you can use it as a crossbody bag with that, but I would not know where to strap them. So probably you can only do the, the backpack thing. I don't know, we'll see. And again, a lot of paper inside. Don't know if I want to remove all the paper. Maybe because it smells very badly of factories, I would say. Just to air it. Okay, so you could even use that as a like bag for school or something like that or work because it's so, so big. It's also pearly. I don't know if you can just see the shimmering effect on it. And that's weird okay no that's fine um inside you have let me see if i can show you it's kind of difficult to show you here you have a zipper a zipper here and you have something to attach like your keys or anything here and here too you have two pockets and on the back you don't have oh yes it's like a snap here and you have a big big pocket here on the back where you can put more stuff so this bag is very cool, uh, cool, and you can put a lot in it, absolutely. Just, it's not that easy to make it close, and if you hold it like that and it's not close, it will open. So, I don't know. And yeah, you can also zip it on the top here. I don't really understand why you zip it like that. You can close that here, but it's still open on the sides here. I don't really know. And then you have to put that back. I don't know, but it looks cool. 
really really nice I did not expect it to be this big so definitely I could put a lot of stuff in there but it's heavy and also this is heavy because there's a lot of metal and also pearls so it's it looks really really cute and now there are two big boxes what's in those okay I'm confused because definitely I'm missing the mirror and I have only one risk off so we'll see about that and then you can we can go to all the dresses here more bags okay it's the same one of the hurt one in black and in white maybe? in gold let's see i was kind of hoping this will be popular because i bought so many oh wow let me just show it to you like that so the gold is also shimmery same and very very cute so yeah I hope that it will <laughs> sell well because I will definitely not just have this bag in four colors just for me especially such a small bag but yeah I think it will be very popular so let's hope so the pile here will be so big you will see it soon <laughs> at least this time it's not like double wrapped I will see for this but I think this shopping service that I'm using this time is better than the one that I was using before because the other one were plastic wrapping stuff together that were already plastic wrapped so it was really really stupid oh yeah and the black is also glittery gorgeous 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 so highly recommend you to check out Red Maria they have amazing bags and they seem really good quality okay seeing those bags from Taobao Whaleful and Red Maria seeing how they manage to make good quality bags that are affordable how come Baby and AP make such crappy quality bags I want to know why what is their justification okay socks I actually bought the socks twice but that's fine um what's that my uh, mirror perfect so i'm not missing the mirror see how well it was packaged yeah because it said it's very um very fragile and i guess i do not own a mirror like that and i probably don't think this is something that is going to be i'm so sweaty <laughs> That is going to be uh, very practical to do my makeup with that. I don't know, maybe it will, but it was so gorgeous that I thought it would maybe even look cool in my decor or as a prop to do a photo shoot. So yeah, I think it was a really cool idea to get that. And also a plastic thing to cover and the make the mirror itself is very good quality and I hate to look at myself right now because I'm really so sweaty this room is so so hot and I cannot open the fan because you will hear it and that's sad okay so gorgeous so basically I got everything I wanted in that where's the box Yay. and now let's open the dresses I think this goes with this we'll see i think these go together we'll see we'll see so definitely we did not see the other one with that and if they said they inspected probably they took a picture of me for me and since there was so much stuff i did not check all the pictures and maybe that's my fault if it's only one because uh i did not tell them when i got the pictures that something was wrong maybe we'll see if i can get something okay so this is the dress that i picked for the sweet starter pack okay oh that's so cute we even have the little hanger that has a card on it it's so so so, so cute okay oh second part is it like i cannot put it a further looks like I could put it like further yeah yeah oh yeah I did it wrong uh, anyways 
super cute. So, this is a dress from Diamond Honey, and it has very cute bubbles. I think it's like snow globes, but there's not really snow. So it's very nice, very sweet. It's kind of big, let's see. I would not say it's hugely plus size, but it was the size L. I'm sure I took the biggest size in that. And it has a zipper and it does have, does it have pockets? No pockets, no pockets. But also uh, attached waist ties. And so, yep, we have the dress that is a Jessica. I uh, probably have a blouse already. And we have here wrist guards. It's a set with matching wrist cuffs. That's cute. I never actually get wrist cuffs in the color, uh, in like the fabric of the brand. It doesn't really look like wrist cuffs because both sides look the same. Maybe it looks like bracelet. Maybe it's like hair ties. I don't know. I think it was supposed to be wrist cuffs, but they don't necessarily need to be bigger at one point. I don't know. It's just my preference. This is a bow that will go on the front, and you have a head bow that goes with it. It's a nice shape, I like this one. Probably the same shape as this one, that is also from Diamond Honey. And what I love is that you can slide the bow on the sides, yay. Nice, ooh, and it has a metal, so you can actually make the shape that you want uh, in it. I like it, it's very nice, yay. And you have also two clips. Two clips that you could put here or something. Or even, I like to put that, slide them like inside the bow here. I mean, in that case, that wouldn't be so interesting, but if you want to use that on a different dress, you can do that or as extras like here. So you can do whatever you want. So this is basically the dress for the sweet starter pack. Yay! And all the white accessories that I've shown you. We'll see which one I put together for this kit. I'm a little bit concerned about the eyes of that. That's bunny here because they're red and it freaked me out when I saw... Is that blood? No, okay, it's one open eye and one closed eye, but it was weird. Okay, but the print is so cute and it's a yellow and mint and white mostly. So, next, something that we were so excited about, but I'm pretty sure it's not my size, so I'm really sad if it won't work and I will have to sell it, but I would love to keep that if I could, we'll see. This print is so gorgeous! I don't know if you can see it well, but it's absolutely gorgeous! You have little mouses and it's so sweet and candy and whipped cream and donuts and the fabric is also, it's polyester of course, but also nice texture. I really love it, really love it. Ah yeah, and it's two Alice. And this one I bought it uh, at pre-order and it was a little bit messy to, to do a pre-order with this shopping service because you have to pay the first part first and then the second part, the money was wrong, so I paid too much, so they had to refund me, so no, I had to cancel my second part order and then I had to make the second payment and I would change the price, I don't remember, it was a mess. So if you get the chance to not do the reservation and buy it when it's ready, maybe that's better, but I don't know. This was so cute. The print was so, so, so gorgeous. Can you see that without the veil, maybe? The print was so gorgeous that I really wanted that print. But also the sizes, I think they were too small for me. Okay, so these have detachable uh, waist ties with a very cute glitter button. 
And so this is an OP. Obviously, I will not match the OP, even if it's big, because uh, there's no shearing and uh, it's lavender. So probably not for me. Even though it looks big, I'm pretty sure I will not fit in it. I will try it, but unfortunately, no. And with that dress, uh, we had those accessories. So it's a big front bow and a smaller polka dot bow. It's gorgeous. The fabric is gorgeous. I'm not usually a big fan of veils on top of the dresses, especially since this one is attached. And also, I'm not very much a fan of the zigzagging they did to attach the lace to the veil because it it's very much shown on the dress. So yeah, that I'm not, not a huge fan on of, but other than that, this dress is amazing quality. I can actually fit in the OP, wow. Because my shoulders go in, this goes in, but here, let me show you. Uh, plus size down badly. So basically my boobs start here and they go up to here. So the bust part for me should go up to here and then maybe something, maybe at least up to here, but then maybe my natural waist is here and that would be where I start this veil. But unless you're really flat, this is very, very unflattering. This is, this is so ridiculous. My petticoat starts here and I don't understand why you would do a size that fits me or fits anyone bigger than me. I think even a little bit bigger than me, but don't put more fabric here. This is really the ridiculously badly done plus size. Just a good example. So the dress is gorgeous still. I don't usually like the veil that hides everything. The, uh, the print is still gorgeous, I love it. The length is good, but if you make a, such a bigger, wider size for the top, you must be making it longer here because people with big busts don't have their waist starting before their boobs even start. This is ridiculous. I'm sorry to Alice, but this is this is a fail. This is really bad. And then what I what would I do? Would I just put that bow on top of my boobs? This is too ridiculous. Okay, then uh, let's see. I think the next one, those are accessories. I have the same dress in blue. Why they wore them to me in colorway? Why? And this one is, oh yeah, it's a salopette. It's not a JSK. And I think I would actually fit in this one if I wanted to, because it's wide enough. But do I want something? Sucks. I don't know. But the print is so gorgeous. So gorgeous. And wow, the buttons are amazing. They're really, really, really cool buttons. And you have the cute uh, mouse ears here and on the back they have a huge pink bow honestly i don't have celibates and i don't think this is a uh, cut that flatters me because it's nice if you are not very we'll see we'll see i will try it on and we'll see if it's flattering or not but yeah okay so you can actually adjust it here in the front because you have those things here. The print is so pretty. Okay, I've not been as excited about a uh, Taobao print in a long time. And really, I want this dress. I actually want it in GSK, in mint, in my cut. I know, I um, mean size. It's a lot to ask, but it's so cute. It's so cute. So I'm so happy I got this. At least I could maybe look at it while it's on sale. I don't know. Okay, let's see the accessories that we have with it. So there is the kutsu. Kutsu. It seems quite big. I could maybe fit in that kutsu. Oh, I think I would. 
just said hot lavender, but it's not. <laughs> because the lavender was the only one left in that size and I wanted it. And so, yeah, it was, is this size one? Don't remember the sizes that I had, but it looks very nice. And it's a nice cotton. Let's see, is it, does it say there? Oh, do you even have an extra button? But it's lavender. Um, okay, here it says size 2 and medium, but it says size 1 on the tag. So I would trust this one better. Like, it's the medium one. And it says 95% something and 5% something else. So I think it's probably 95% cotton and uh, elastin or something because it looks really like a t-shirty uh, material really nice and soft and uh, all wrinkly but that can be saved and you have an attached uh, bow to put where you want probably like here it was supposed to be here i think and there's that with that what is it oh it's a cute uh, um tissue box uh, that is commercial for two others and they have coats inside that's so cute and this is i think also an accessory that goes with that tiny bow and what was it again oh yeah 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 no it's a different it's a it's a cut so also like a blouse, but uh, all in uh, light chiffon and uh, cute uh, clouds. So also socks, but super, super cute. Super nice. I like it. And also I took the biggest size. This one should fit me. I don't know if I want this, but also it's a size one here, but it says size medium inside. So that's quite confusing. Same thing here. And also you have the bow that you can attach somewhere. Yay, that's cute. And this is the head bow, giant head bow, that goes with the dress, the lavender one. This is mouse ears. And you have the tag to add us. And it's giant, but it's very, very cute. I have to say something. The look of it here, this plushy thing they put here, for me, it looks like a plush that had been played with for years and that looks like nothing anymore, or washed, or or is it just the crappiest possible plush material that I could use? But it looks honestly terrible. They could have done something super cute and super nice fabric because the fabric of the dress is nice, but the actual plush fur of these look terrible to me, they look worn. So this one I'm not really happy, but the dress can... I will show that to you again. Please make it in mint, oh my god. I'm so in love with that. So if I decided to wear this dress and try it, I will insert a clip here of me telling you how it was and showing me wearing this. And if not, if it didn't fit, you will probably never know. So the cut some fit and actually the celibate fits. Uh, I did not put a petticoat because it would do too much poof. And also it's a shorter cut. Um, the celibates usually a little bit more like um, Lisa Lisa uh, type of cuts. So. Yeah, I don't know if I want to wear that kind of cuts or not. I don't know, but the print is so pretty and it fits. But also here, also this is not meant to wear together. Uh, this is way too uh, thin. I should definitely just uh, uh, wear that under a bigger GSK that hides everything. But uh, yeah, at least it fits. So. I don't know, I think I will definitely look into other colors, uh, availability somewhere else. This other cut sole works better with the celibate, but I don't like how the sleeves are so simple here. It looks really like a simple t-shirt, even though it's kind of nice here. Uh, here it's too simple, it's not nice. But if you live in Switzerland or close enough, 
consider coming to uh, Key Bubble Tea to buy these dresses, bags, everything that you see here, or to my booth at conventions. I usually don't bring other brands at conventions where I'm invited as Fluff Dory or like Lolita specific conventions, but uh, if I go to uh, anime conventions or stuff like that, uh, also in Switzerland, I will always bring stuff like that and I will also have a part of a bring and buy where my friends in the community sell their things secondhand so you can find very affordable Lolita stuff on my booth. So yay! I'm quite happy about the content of that box, that, those two boxes actually. The makeup is amazing, I'm so much looking forward to try it. And the boxes are amazing. And this, okay, this is... I just cannot get over how cute this print is. Oh, I want to wear it so much. I think they had a pink too. I could wear the pink, but they are sold out in my size. And yeah, maybe I'll try to get it at other uh, Taobao resellers, maybe, because it's so cool. And so if they are sold out on their website, or maybe they will have some stock left. I don't know, we'll see. But not being excited, as excited by a print for so long. I, I said by a Taobao print, but basically by any print. Angelic Pretty has not done something that cute in a long time. So, I want this dress so much. I'll find a way to make it happen, don't worry. So if you want to see the other time where I bought literally a pile of dress this big on my table on Taobao, you can look up there, I will link it at the end, and also check out Superbuy because I'm really happy about uh, their shopping service. So if you want to have my channel and need a shopping service, why not try Superbuy? So thank you so much for watching and remember, everybody can be kawaii. Bye bye!